<laughs> I'm back. Went on a family vacation, took a little break. I was kind of in a weird place and I didn't want to force anything because I've said from the beginning, like I just want this to be a very like genuine space. I've been going to therapy and you know, continuing to like do some work and I'll share a little bit about that. I have seen your messages and I've definitely heard you guys like being like, hello, where'd you go? So I'm, I'm back. For this video, I wanted to tackle something that I feel like a lot of questions have been asked about. It's something that is pretty much the main area of focus that I'm working on right now. And that is just body stuff. <laughs> So just a little bit of a trigger warning. I am gonna talk about binge eating, body dysmorphia, just some like body image issues, but also body positivity and acceptance and all of the things that I've learned along this journey. You know what you can or can't listen to. So I have always been on the curvier side even when i was younger like i just i was a little bit thicker i never really would say like i i dealt with a lot of weight issues and i know even to some people now they look at me and they're like oh you're not even that bad or they'll be like oh you know you're like mid-size or whatever and that's Honestly, the thing is, it doesn't matter where you are in comparison to other people. We all are going through our own specific thing and you have to acknowledge and like give yourself space to feel whatever it is. Um, I'm getting off track already. I think around like junior high, I first started to notice that I was a little bit bigger than most of my friends. High school is when I got like a giant butt like overnight and a lot of things fit me different on the dance team than everyone else. I started to associate shame around that time. I remember I dreaded when we had to get new uniform stuff because they would always yell out our names and you had to yell back your size. And I was the only one who had to order a large like on the team. So that was a very like isolating, like weird feeling that I started to associate this whole like I'm different and I, I wish I could just fit in because it's all you want to do in high school, which I wish I could go back and tell my younger self like, no, like stand out, like do your thing, but it's okay, we all have to go through it. Really had my, my biggest weight gain in a relationship where I just wasn't happy. And then came the cycles. By cycles, I mean I do this thing where I gain a lot of weight and then I try this like drastic thing. The first time I became vegan and I lost 40 pounds within like a couple months and the attention that came from that of everyone being like, you look so good, oh my gosh, you look amazing, you've lost so much weight, is where I started to associate the I get compliments only when I'm skinny and I look good when I lose weight. Nobody was complimenting me when I was gaining weight. In fact, I was getting the concern like pity kind of looks. If you hear background noise, it's constant in this house, so just, you know. I kind of got like addicted to that feeling. Well, it didn't last and then I gained a lot of weight again. And then I was keto and then I lost a ton of weight and again started getting that like attention. And it's been this non-stop back and forth, back and forth. And it's like I always have this view, right? Like when I am heavier, once I get back to blah, 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 I'll be happy. I had this moment the other day. Sorry, I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> but like if you watch any of my videos so far, you're like, oh, I'm not. I'm used to it. I was scrolling through old pictures. I think it was for like a birthday post or something. And I got to these old photos. And I think it was like a total God thing because vividly I was there posting that photo again. I remember being so embarrassed and ashamed of my body that I facetuned my arms to be a little bit like smoother and my legs to not like go out in this specific area. And I'm gonna show you the picture <laughs> because there's moments in life where you have a realization of how real or intense something is. And that, this moment was that for me. So this is the photo. <laughs> and like, I look at that now, you know, like on my bad days, I'm like, oh, I would kill to be that skinny, you know? But then I'm like, 
the fact that even at that size i was so still conscious and negative towards myself and my body and i'll show another one like this is one with my roommates and i remember like it was my birthday and i was so embarrassed because i was like I can't post this like I look giant compared to them and like like look at the photo it's so sad I'm having this like reflection right like looking back at my life and I'm like was I ever happy or like ever gave myself a break and like loved who I was and like owned who I was in my own skin and man that definitely messed with me so i think that was my first kind of like realization and of course like you know i have a therapist like i'm working through this with her but that i think that i do struggle with body dysmorphia and not seeing physically like seeing <laughs> what reality is and so what's crazy is like i've gained the most weight like in like a rapid uh pace whatever recently and my body has changed so much <laughs> so much there was a day i woke up and i like went and i like caught my reflection and i had literally like dark tiger stripes all over my stomach and i remember staring in the mirror and being like oh my god and like i started freaking out and my body feels foreign to me right now i was talking to my therapist about how much i hated the fact that all day my focus is on what other people are seeing of me you know my stomach is sucked in 24 7 to the point that even there's sometimes like i'll be in the car by myself and i'll still be doing it and i'm like <sighs> and like just to let my stomach out so i can breathe every time i'm like sitting i'm like adjusting my shirt or my shorts or like what angle like oh my god my thighs are like squished to a point that my like cellulite is showing or when i'm walking i'm constantly like making sure like my flannel is shut or my purse is hanging in a certain area or you know all the things Things that people who have insecurities like you get in these habits of just covering up what you feel is a flaw I was on vacation and I had therapy and I was like I can't even be like at the pool like all I'm focusing on is like what people are thinking when they see my body and I'm missing out on even like the little moments of like being with my nephew and like being with my family and interacting it was so like great because she said things like so simple to me but it really like registered she basically was saying you can never get those moments back you only have this like one life you spending your time focusing on that like you're losing those moments you know she's like you know i have insecurities and i might not love my arms but they're my arms and i've talked about this on here like i need to be thankful for the things that my body can do right now my mind is attacking me so much to the point where i'm losing out on this life that i have it's not anyone else's job to love my arms it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks it's my job to love my arms and it's my job to think that i am like beautiful and hot and sexy and whatever anyone else thinks is not my job and that really clicked to me too because i'm like if someone is like legit taking the time to look over at me and be like oh honey you should not be wearing that or like oh you better cover up like blah 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 like that's a them problem that's not a me problem my face doesn't carry as much weight so when i do gain weight my face is usually the last thing to start to like plump up that's why like i feel like i can hide everything from my face down and just be a sweaty mess because i never want to wear tank tops or like shorts or anything like that and i just like am at this place where i'm like there's something deeper there because even when your body is what you think you want it to be you're still not loving who you are and so i gotta i gotta figure that out and i think a lot of us do it's been like this really cool process of me loving and accepting myself and it's so funny because like this might sound so stupid to some people but like the other day i was going to the post office 
and I had like it was so hot and I had like my high-waisted sweats on and a crop top and like flannel my uniform I was hot and so I was like Taryn walk confidently like feel sexy in your body and like I hate I hate I hate that that's even like something I have to remind myself to do but I tied that flannel around my waist and I freaking strutted like strutted into the post office like my glasses on like <laughs> Tata's bouncing because they're <laughs> They always do. I can't tell you the amount of like joy that I had because I just felt so powerful. Like I could conquer anything. So anyways, I've been really working on it and I feel so different. It's funny because like people notice, like I've had so many friends recently be like, you look so hot and it's not anything like I have not started eating healthier. I'm not binging anymore because I, I really have attacked that with my therapist and broken the shame cycle, but I'm still eating like crap and I haven't started working out as much. So like, it's not that my body is necessarily different. It's that I am presenting myself as who I am. It's not anyone else's job to think that I'm hot. It's my job to think that I am hot and I am beautiful just the way I am. <sighs> slowly, slowly <laughs> starting to work on it and challenge myself in little areas, but I think that for the first time in my life, and I'm freaking in my 30s and I've done this cycle so many times, I feel like I'm really attacking like the root of it. I'm so freaking hopeful that this time is like gonna be it because like i've said before i'm i'm not trying to get to a weight i'm trying to be healthy and right now i'm focusing on the mental side of that and then i'll focus on like you know eating and working out for the purpose of making sure my body is functioning healthy but not for the purpose of getting to a weight or body type or anything like that i'm really excited and i hope that this resonated with some of you and i hope that for others it made you think about what people might be going through because i guarantee that most people in my life are never thought that that this is all going on inside my mind because I am such a happy person and and I would say like I'm confident to an extent but there's a lot of inner battle that's been constantly going on so be gentle with people be careful what you say to people compliment everyone not just when they're losing weight and if you have a friend who's curvier don't only give them compliments like oh you're so confident i love your confidence like that's a backhanded <laughs> slap compliment everyone because they are beautiful and <sighs> that's all i got today definitely i'm gonna be posting more regularly and i love you all more than you know and i want to thank you for being the support that like i didn't know i needed <laughs> that's all love you bye